And welcome back to the American Dream. My next guests are Christina Horning. She's a principal broker with Premier Property Group. And her special guest today is Matt Melitas. He's the commissioner of the Oregon Liquor Control Commission and member representative of the industry. Thank you both so much for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely, our pleasure to have you here, Christina. So talk to me a little bit, Christina, about your background in real estate. Before we get into what Matt does and all the exciting things he's doing for the community, tell me a little bit about your backstory. I read here that you've been involved in real estate since you were 15. I started in commercial, um, started in high school, and um, I was working for the family company, and I moved on to manage vacation rentals, office buildings. I did asset management and to quite a few different things in that division and then I moved on to residential once I realized once I got out of college and I realized that I kind of wanted to change so that was fun and I've just been doing it ever since and then I grew up in a family that always did some form of real estate. Wow so clearly this is your calling and and we're so thrilled that you've brought along Matt today to talk to us a little bit. Matt tell us a little bit about you your background and what it is that you exactly do because it's really fascinating. I was appointed last year or 2017 to the Oregon Liquor Control Commission which is the agency in the state that regulates both alcohol and cannabis. We are in charge of licensing bars, restaurants, really the entire supply chain of alcohol as well as as cannabis now in hemp. The Oregon Liquor Control Commission is the leading source of revenue for the state after taxes and lottery. It's a leading source of revenue for the state and that's just on the alcohol side. The agency's unique in that it's got kind of a dual role to be a regulator but also support the health of, of the industries and that's really what I try to do. Sure. Well, Christina, let's talk a little bit more about Oregon being a leader, particularly in real estate. What are some things that you're seeing happen in the real estate industry and what are you projecting for 2019? 2019 is starting out to be a great year. The market has picked up. I made an offer the other day on a investment property that a client of mine was going to flip. 25 other offers. So it is picking up. The nice thing is that interest rates have gone down. So that's one of the things that we're seeing is that they've dropped slightly, which is not what we thought was going to happen. We thought we, that we were going to have interest rate increases this year. The higher end market, it's still doing okay. It's, it's doing good. It's doing better than it was end of last year. But I think all the markets are going to pick up this year and then maybe slowly falter off toward the end of the year. It's so obvious that both of you are passionate about what you do, and that's why you both do it so well. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us.